Hello there and welcome. Now is finally a great time to install and start using Comfy UI. The all new desktop version of Comfy UI was released back in October 2024 and has now had all the initial bugs and issues resolved. It comes bundled with a whole host of improvements and updates, auto installs a Python environment and includes Comfy UI Manager as standard. Even better is that this all new version of Comfy UI now comes with a one click installer which makes the whole installation process super quick and easy. There's a growing trend for new AI tools to be released exclusively for use with Comfy UI which means that if we want to use these latest AI tools locally we can only do so with Comfy UI. Comfy UI used to have an intimidating steep technical learning curve in order to use it and create workflows, but now with the huge availability of free quality workflow templates from the Comfy UI community covering pretty much every scenario we could imagine, Comfy UI is now a realistic choice for the majority of people who just want a plug and play UI with minimal technical skills required. Of course, it continues to offer complete technical flexibility for those who want to build workflows from scratch and get their hands dirty. On top of all these new benefits remains the biggest benefit of all, which is that Comfy UI can pretty much do anything we need without any of the restrictions found with many other alternative UIs. So if you've been debating whether to take the Comfy UI leap, then now is a great time to do so. In this video, I'll walk through the quick and easy step-by-step -step process to install the latest version of Comfy UI on a Windows 11 PC using the one-click installer. So, let's crack on. We first need to download the Comfy UI desktop one-click installer. We'll open the official Comfy UI desktop GitHub page in our browser. I'll leave the URL link in the description below for you. We'll scroll down the page a bit to the download section. There's installer files for both Windows and Mac OS here. I'm running Windows, so we'll click the Windows download file link. This is the latest stable version of Comfy UI. On the Save As window, we'll navigate to the root of my E drive, then click Save to save the file here. The file won't take long to download. Once the file has finished downloading, we can see this comfyuisetup.exe file in my E drive. We'll double click this file to begin the installation process. On the opening Welcome to Comfy UI window, we'll just click the Get Started button. On the next GPU window, our correct GPU will be detected automatically. If for some reason your GPU is not automatically detected, you can click the manual configuration button to select it. Then we'll click the next button. On the next install location window, the top box gives us the option to change the default location for our Comfy UI user data part of the installation. Our user data is our working directory that we'll use to save any files that we generate with Comfy UI and also the location that we download and save any additional models, custom nodes and other files that we want to use with Comfy UI. The default location is under our username on our C drive, but if at a later date we need to reinstall our computer for any reason, then all data on our C drive will be deleted, including all of our generations and custom downloads, so it's best to install the user data part of the installation in a different location to where we have Windows installed. We'll install the user data in a new folder named Comfy UI in my E drive. We'll click the small folder icon, navigate to the root of my E drive, right click in an empty space, select new, then folder. We'll rename our new folder to Comfy UI. Click off it to deselect it, then click it to select it. Then finally, click the Select Folder button. We can now see our new Comfy UI folder in my E drive correctly inserted in the user data directory location. We won't worry about the directory already exists message as we do want to install everything in our existing Comfy UI folder that we just created. 
The bottom box has the installation locations for the actual Comfy UI app, which we can't and don't need to change anyway. Then we just click the next button. On the next migration window, if we had installed Comfy UI previously, then it's at this stage that we could link our user data folder to access and use everything again. We don't have a previous installation, so we'll just click the next button. On the last desktop settings window, we'll just leave the options enabled by default and click the install button to begin the installation. The installation will auto install everything, so it'll take a while to finish. Eventually, everything will complete, and if Comfy UI launches automatically, like you can see on the screen, then congratulations, you've just installed Comfy UI successfully. Now you know how to install the latest version of Comfy UI on a Windows 11 PC, the quick and easy way using the one click installer. Anyway, hope you found this video helpful, and I'll catch you in the next one.